Hi, this is Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I've got the second book that I'm reviewing for Catalina Estrada and she's a Barcelona based uh, textile designer and illustrator. Her first colouring book I reviewed last week so you might want to check out the channel for that one as well. So beautiful vibrant card cover and this is very reflective of her actual design. If you go onto her website, have a look at the textiles, etc., that she's designed. They're absolutely stunning. We've got some gold uh, highlight foil on that cover as well. The fold-out cover features, again, beautifully vivid coloured line art and some background line art here that you could colour in as well. The fold-out cover has got lovely line art on there to colour as well. And this is just so beautiful. Uh, we've got a nice little plain title page. Good spot to test out your markers, your mediums. Now it is double-sided, so alcohol markers are going to be a no-no with this book. And use these introduction pages to test out your watercolours or your other mediums and see how they react with the paper and your colouring style. Now we've got a lovely little nameplate page here. And the paper is a medium quality and it's sort of a cool white. Now I bought this book from Spain and uh, the links to buy it are below the video. And you can see it's folding down quite nicely so that you can colour in the whole of that image. And her work is one that you really need to uh, go and have a look at her website and see the sort of artwork that she does to get an idea of how this looks like coloured in. You can get some idea from the cover but I think if you look at her website uh, she's got a very distinctive, colourful style of art. Not to say that you have to do yours in the same way, but uh, just so that you can get an idea. Now what she does is she tends to use a darker line for some parts of the drawing and then a fainter line so it has a blended overall effect when you colour it in so it doesn't look like an outline like a tattoo, it sort of blends into the one picture. And in her colouring book she tends to use uh, one image on one side of the page and then either in a pattern or on its own on the other side. And then we've got some illustrations with a black pre-printed background on them and some of these illustrations would be great for those colourists that uh, have motor skill issues because there's some with larger lines in there that makes it easier to colour in. See these ones would be great for colourists that have motor skill issues and you can if it's a problem for you, you don't need to, you know, colour as she's got it with the greyer areas to indicate different colours. You can see the line art is very crisp and very black, so it's quite easy to see. And because there's not a lot of background detail in most of the illustrations, some of them might be less complicated. Some do have a lot of detail in them. You've got a lot of butterflies in this illustration and see how the line art is different colors and so we've got it like a little gray now it is folding down when I press on it and I'm being a little bit firm
Some of these larger open spaced images would be great if you have a visual impairment or motor skill impairment. Lots of little insects and bugs in this book. You got cute little bunny rabbits and see how they've been used on that page and then this is a, a more micro page. And same with here, we've got the illustrations used on both pages. So most of the illustrations are on one single page, but there's a few that are a double page. Got a bit about the artist at the end of the book, and then that gorgeous fold-out cover with that coloured image on it. And it really is stunning, and I do encourage you to go and see her website and see her beautiful colourful textiles, because it'll give you an idea of what these sort of patterns could look like. The links to buy this book are below the video. Until next time, happy colouring.